Thanks, everybody, for coming this morning. I am joined with our Director of the State Office of Budget and Management, Kristen Walker, as well as members of our team. Thank you for your great work on this budget. As I've said before, once-in-a-generation opportunities require once-in-a-generation investments. This budget we're presenting today meets the moment. It invests in a fast-growing state so people can get the record number of better-paying jobs that are being created every day. It recognizes that historic investments in education and child care are needed now to make sure we have the well-trained workforce for the jobs of today and tomorrow. It invests in our schools, our health, our safety, our transportation, our water, our state employee workforce, and our families. The major focus of my budget is strengthening education with historic investments from cradle to career. We can and should make good on the constitutional guarantee of a sound basic education to create opportunity for everybody. My budget proposes $1.5 billion more for early childhood education and child care to benefit our youngest children who need to learn, their parents who need to work, and our businesses which need to hire them. It recognizes that with 5,000 teacher vacancies across our state, we must provide educators with the pay and the respect that they so richly deserve. That's why we're proposing raising teacher and principal pay by an average of 18 percent over the next two years. That would take us from 32nd in the nation to 16th in teacher pay, while making us first in the Southeast. We're also restoring master's pay and significantly expanding the reach of teaching fellow scholarships to attract more teachers into the profession. Other important school personnel, like bus drivers and counselors, would get a 9.5% raise over the next two years, while all school employees would get a retention bonus of either $1,000 or $1,500. If you make less than $75,000, you would get $1,000, uh, $1,500. And if you make more than $75,000, you would get $1,000. We know it's not just pay that makes teaching a challenge, but also the shortage of help. Sometimes it's as simple as actually getting children to school on time. And my budget will get more qualified, licensed school bus drivers behind the wheel 